All right, page four. Uh, let's look here. We got what is the graph of the inequality? So we're not dealing with the equations anymore. We're dealing with shading and dashed lines and those kind of things. What is the graph of the inequality in the coordinate plane? X is less than or equal to 4. All right. So let's look at my choices here. First of all, let's remember when it's just y in a number, like 4, it's a horizontal line. We actually graphed one earlier on this review. When it's x in a number, like 4, the line is going to be vertical. So that eliminates a couple of our choices. It's not going to be answer D, and it's not going to be answer A, because those are horizontal lines. Looks like B and C both have the vertical line drawn at 4. So then it's just a matter of what side should be shaded. Okay. Well, if I have X is less than 4, any type of inequality to decide what, uh, what side to shade on, I use a test point, 0, 0. Basically, I'm testing... 0, 0, and see if 0, 0 is a solution, if it's a yes, or if it's not a solution, if it's a no. Let's look. If I have x less than or equal to 4, if I plug in 0, 0, which is an x value and a y value, looks like I'm only going to use the x value because there is no y value in my problem. 0 is less than or equal to I ask myself, does that make sense? Is 0 less than or equal to negative, or excuse me, less than or equal to 4? I would say yes. That means my test point, 0, 0, is a yes. That means answer C is correct because it is the only option where the test point 0, 0 is in the shaded area. These are all yeses. All these points, all these points are yeses. All of the points over here are no's. Okay. If it helps you, maybe if it's x is less than 4, then you want all the numbers that are less than 4, like 3, 2, 1, 0, 0. That means all the numbers that are less than 4. Let's keep moving on. Next one. Which inequality represents the graph? Well, multiple choice problem, and you got, looks like they all have the same slope. Looks like they all have the same y-intercept. So really this question is asking, you know, can, we, can we decipher between which way the shading is going and all that kind of stuff? Well, with this, let's make some observations about the graph. You might see, well, it has a slope of negative 4. You might say, oh, it has a y-intercept of 4. That's good. It has a dashed line. That's an important feature. Because it's dashed, all dashed lines do not have the or equal to. So I got it narrowed down to two choices now. There's a trick with when you have y, m, x, and b, in this form, if it's a greater than, the shading will be above the line. If it's a less than sign, the shading will be below the line. It only works for slope-intercept form. So as you look at my graph, everything is shaded below the line. Below the line, below the line, below the line. Okay, well, when things are below the line, I use the less than sign. My answer has to be D. That's page four.